Hey guys, it's Tyler here with TKF Life Outdoors. And uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how we clean up and protect our mud boat after a trip out in salt water. Um, sorry for the horse voice, we just got back from a bachelor party in New Orleans, so you know, uh, it, it's gone. Uh, anyway, a couple products that we're going to be using today. Um, I'm a big fan of the Starbright products. Um, First one's going to be Starbright's Boat Wash. You can get all these products on Amazon. Uh, their boat wash we both we use for both of our uh, our aluminum boat and our fiberglass boat. Uh, and then for saltwater trips, we use uh, Starbright's Salt Off Concentration. And again, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, they come in these. 32 ounce bottles or the or the one gallon bottles. Uh, I've had a chance to use these several times and uh, I, I really like them. So uh, let's get to it. All right guys, so here you're gonna see me fill up the container for the applicator with uh, Starbright's Boat Wash. Uh, this stuff's real good. It kind of smells like blueberries, uh, suds up really well, uh, and just does an overall good job. So here I'm rinsing everything down first. Uh, I always like to do this to get any sand or mud or any kind of debris that's still in or on the boat uh, washed away first before putting the soap on and really getting in there with the brush. Here I'm going to switch the applicator over from rinse mode to soap mode. Uh, unfortunately it's not like a metering valve, it's pretty much all on or all off. Uh, but you can control the flow of water coming out, which can kind of slow down your usage. I try to be as detailed as I can with the brush during this step so that the surface is completely clean and all the nooks and crannies are cleaned out. Uh, this will help the next step whenever we apply the salt off um, to help really protect everything. After we've given the boat a good wash, we'll go ahead and rinse everything down and then we'll move on to the next step with the salt off. We're gonna use that same applicator that we used for the boat wash to apply our salt off concentrate. Now the reason I like Starbright salt off concentrate so much is it not only breaks down and dissolves the salt deposits, but it also has a PTEF coating, which is polytetrafluoroethylene, otherwise known as Teflon. So once this stuff dries over the steel components, it kind of gives it a protective coating. You can see I'm spraying it underneath my truck and any other kind of steel that was exposed to the salt air and the salt water. Um, I know it's an aluminum bottom boat, but it, even in the motor, there's some steel components. These swivel chairs here have steel uh, bearings and, and bearing races uh, that rust out quite often, and this stuff really helps prolong the life of those. Now, the great thing about Starbright Salt Off Concentrate is it's not just for your boat and your motor, it's also for your gear. Uh, here you're gonna see me applying it to some of the gear that we had in the boat on our trip. Uh, those mats uh, are what we keep in the bottom of the boat for cushion and traction. Uh, they have a rubber backing to them, so it helps keep the salt from dehydrating the rubber. Uh, we also use this stuff on our fishing rods and reels, on our coolers, our steel shallow water anchors that we made out of some rebar. It just protects everything.
All right, once you let everything sit for 10 to 15 minutes and let that coating kind of dry on there, uh, you go back and just rinse everything off. All right, now that everything's been washed and rinsed, uh, now's the time to do a little bit of preventative maintenance. Uh, here, you know, these swivel chairs have some steel race bearings, and uh, I'm just gonna lubricate them up with a little bit of white lithium grease. All right, so here I'm gonna add a little stable 360 Marine into our fuel tank. I've already topped the fuel tank off. You should always keep all your fuel tanks full when storing any of your boats or toys or anything uh, to prevent moisture from building up. But if you do get a little bit of moisture in your, in your gas tank, the uh, stable 360 helps break that down. All right, well, we're gonna finish this up by putting our boat and motor covers on uh, to help protect from debris falling out of the trees, keeps the boat clean, and also helps uh, reduce the UV damage on the paint. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.